Hey garden guardians, welcome to Angel Love's Garden. Peace and blessings to all. Let's get growing. Hey garden guardians, it's Angel aka Lily and Sana. Say hi Nana. Oh, very good, Nana. She said hi. Today we have something that came in the mail. A mail call, okay? Not really a haul, but a mail call. Um, we had, ironically, um, a company reach out to us for the first time. Ooh, I'm so excited. Um, because I think they saw the a video of me harvesting my pears. And they reached out. And guess what? They send us something. So, um, Nana's already seen it. That's why she's going about her business now. Okay. So she's seen what's in the box. But, y'all haven't seen it. So, what's in the box? Today, we got from Saker a mini electric chainsaw. That's right a mini electric chainsaw. Look at this, y'all. Thank you, Saker. Thank you, cause you know, it's about that time when I like to prune my trees, um, like around fall. Cause I think it helped them. I think it helped my pear tree last year when I pruned them back. Um, and that's probably why I got some pears this year. And I got more blossoms on some of my other fruit trees as well. So. Thank you, Saker. Um, they just sent this. They were being nice. They're like, hey, I think you might want to use some of the, these products that we have. Like, maybe a mini chainsaw. Can you use it? I'm like, yeah, I want a mini chainsaw. Who don't want a mini chainsaw? There's a gardener. What fruit trees? What trees, period. Okay. So, thank you, Saker, for sending this. Um, and definitely, we're going to try it out. I uh, haven't opened it, so let's go ahead and open it. And thank you because yesterday was Lily's birthday, so this came right on time like a birthday present, a garden birthday present for Lily. Lily bought herself some other garden birthday presents. We'll see that in another video. <laughs> you know how I like fruit trees. All right, so we love our fruit trees. Uh, so definitely this will come in handy because I got some more fruit trees. <laughs> okay, so let's see here if I can open the packaging. Really nicely packaged. Alright, so look at here y'all. Let's see what's in the package. All right, we have the instruction booklet. You can see there's like a little picture and the instructions of how to operate the chainsaw. It's, it's pretty compact and cute. It comes with one of these chargers, a battery charger, or I guess you could call it a battery. Little battery pack, similar to the one that's on my um, lawn, my lawnmower that I have. The four battery packs for that uh, battery. Ooh, look at this thing, y'all! Hold on, let me take it out the box. It's plastic. Isn't it the cutest little thing, y'all? Look at that. That's just right for Lily, cause you know I ain't trying to like take no giant chainsaw to nothing. Look at this. Hold it with one hand, y'all. But it is heavy. It's got some weight to it. It's not super heavy. You can still hold it with one hand. You use with one hand. Um, it's comfortable. It has nice grips on here. If y'all can see that, that's nice. The rubber grips. Looks like this will be starting it here. You push that in after it's charged. A nice little handle. Kind of a guard for your hand, just in case. Um, look, a little guard here as well. That's what's up. I like this. 
And it's blue, it's cute. Look, you match my background. Hmm, I like this. Thank you, Saker. Here's the charging cord that goes to the battery. Let's pull the battery out of the plastic, y'all. Take a look at it. All right. 20 volts. All righty, the battery. There's a little charging port here where this cord will go in. You can plug it into the wall. It's that easy, bam. Charge it up. I haven't charged it. Y'all saw me just take it out of the box. So I'm going to have to charge it up. And there's probably going to be a second part of the video. I'm going to use it because I'm excited. I want to use this chainsaw because it's time to cut those trees so that they can hopefully produce next season. So far, I just got two pears. I almost got an apple, but you know, the squirrels got it. But yeah, we got a charger for our battery. Nice handheld, perfect size for trimming my trees. My trees aren't too big, so this is perfect size. Um, let's see what else we have. There's lots of tools in here. Look at the little mini screwdriver and a wrench, little socket wrench. Look at that, okay. In case you need to tighten up some things on here. See so like here? In case you need to tighten that. Tighten here also. We can see the areas where you may need these tools. But that's it, y'all. Pretty much simple. Some oil just to keep the blade nice. Hey, it's compact, it's simple, it's ready to go. Really ready to chop some tree lambs. I'm not gonna say trees down because I love my fruit trees. I'm ready to cut some limbs, y'all. Tree lambs from my fruit trees. Look at that. We're gonna be ready. Got a little thing on it too for your wrist. A little guard. Be easy to start it with here. We're gonna do the second part of the video where we actually cut some trees now because I'm feeling a kind of way. I'm feeling kind of empowered holding this little chaser. I don't know what it is. But um, that's coming next. In the second part of the video, uh, we will be cutting our fruit trees and trimming them back. Now, they're not huge, but we'll be using this to trim it because a lot of times the scissors aren't going to cut it and my little clippers that I have, the blades may go dull. Um, and this one, sure, I can just use this for trimming instead of messing up my scissors and things like that. All right, so thank you so much to the good people at Saker. I will be putting the link to the mini chainsaw in the description of this video because you know what this thing cute it's cute and it's practical it's something i'm going to use because there's certain tools that i will use in my garden like my little survival shovel i like to use that um it is not a big shovel it's just like a little small shovel but it's big enough for my fruit trees where i can like dig them up and maybe put new soil in or whatever i need to do um and also work in my garden. And this nice little new mini chainsaw. It's so cute. All right, so stay tuned for that. Um, hopefully I will be coming with that soon. All right, so thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned, stay tuned now. Oh, oh, that's our tree for the chainsaw. We're gonna see what else we can cut the chainsaw. Okay. <laughs> stay tuned, okay. Hey Garden Guardians, it's Angel aka Lily with Angel Loves Garden and today as promised we are coming back with the second part of the Saker Mini Chainsaw video. Thank you again to Saker for sending us this product so that we can try it out. Um, I'm going to trim my fruit tree. So some people say wait till it's cold but I usually do it around September, October and they don't have no fruit on them. And I think last year um, it helped when I trimmed them around this time of year so that they could kind of get acclimated and then go through the winter just fine. And then y'all saw we got some pears this year. So we're going to try to work on trying to get more fruit, more blossoms. So we're going to trim them. That's what we're going to do. We're going to use that Saker Mini Chainsaw. Let's go. 
All right, garden guardians. So I like to start first with my plum trees. I think I've had these trees maybe the longest of all my trees, um, four years now, and they have not produced any fruit, not anything. I notice a lot of insects like them. Yeah, they do. Um, sometimes the leaves go bad. Like right now I see some um, ants or something over here all crawling on the leaves. They smell really good, so the leaves probably taste really good. Um, but yeah, we haven't got no fruit on them, so we're going to prune them really good. We're going to use the Saker Mini Chainsaw. This is the Mini Chainsaw by Saker that they sent me. It's really cute, y'all see that? I like that blue. We match it today again. We match it, except for the glasses. But anyway, um, I charged it. It was easy to charge, and I'll probably put a little insert of the um, picture of how it looks when it's charging because... There's a little green light that comes on when it's ready. Um, and this is the battery. Just slide it in there real easy. All of this came pre-assembled. Um, this button here is what you push. Y'all can see. You push the button here in. And then the button, the little lever here. It's loud, y'all. It's a chainsaw. It's supposed to be loud. Okay, so there's a button you push right here to oh, oh to start it, and then there's the little trigger. And as you can see, there's this hand guard. That's really good, you know, in case you it's a nice size. Keep your fingers safe. This is also a guard here. You keep your face and everything else safe from the chainsaw. So yeah, but it's easy to use. Um, I oiled it. The suggestion was to oil it every time before you use it. Um, and then also every time when you have to charge the battery when it's spent, you want to go and oil it too. Just to remind yourself to oil it to keep your, you know, your blades nice and ready. Um, the suggestion was if you're going to use it on fruit trees, you want to use vegetable oil, not mineral oil. Use vegetable oil because you don't want to hurt your fruit trees, y'all. And it did come with a little thing of vegetable oil. Yeah, we ordered it this morning. We charged it. We ready to go. Let's go chop some there. Okay. <laughs> so, what I like to do is to get the suckers, or the ones that uh, seem to be, you know, needing to be cut. I want these to actually produce next year, so we're gonna cut some 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 branches for real. We're gonna cut some branches. Of course, I'm also planning on fertilizing them really well and watering them in really good because you know sometimes cutting your trees can be stressful to them um, until they get used to you know hey what happened to one of my limbs you know so we're going to be doing that too but right now we're going to just be cutting stuff thank you Saker let's go I want to get this one here Nice clean cut. See that? It's really easy. You could probably use this maybe as um trying to propagate another tree. We're gonna say, you know how we do. We we experiment. We do science experiments over here. But yeah, it was nice, it was fast, it was clean. And I think it'll appreciate it. I just want to clean this part up a little bit more. So, I'm going to see if I can show y'all how it cut. I just wanted to make sure it was nice and clean. So, y'all see that there? That's the cut. Make sure it was nice and clean. And so, we're going to do that pretty much with a few more of these. Oh, yeah, I hope that's all. Okay. And of course, be safe, you know, safety goggles if you need them, things like that. Keep your hair out of the way. You don't want your hair to be tangled. Y'all see, I got all this stuff in my head, though. 
Um, we got it pushed back, tied back. We got that little sun visor on. I do have my glasses on. I meant to put my sunglasses on because I don't want my cute cat glasses to get messed up, but you know. We out here now, so yes. And y'all, Virginia is for lovers. RVA, y'all. Okay, so now let's go. And no, I, that's not paid either. But um, let's go here and do some more trimming. I'm trying to think. I like these big, big branches here, but I need to cut these little ones off right here. It did suggest to try cutting from the bottom first to do um, a pre-cut and then do then cut from the top. So y'all, I'm gonna be cutting this big old branch here off and see if that helps because I want my tree to focus on some fruit this year coming up. Again, this is like another whole tree, y'all. Tree trying to produce with two, three trees sitting on the side. It's not gonna work. So we're gonna try to see if we get, get it producing. Now you can see it's just like a nice little stalk and we just have it top. Um, let's see. Anything I wanna cut off of here? Looks like something been eating my tree real bad, y'all. And this heat probably hasn't been helping, but I suspect the cicadas um, probably got to it. Um, the leaves are still green. I think it needs some, I know it needs some fertilizer. I haven't been doing like I usually do because I'm back in school and been working and stuff. So it needs some more fertilizer. It needs some water. Bad. Stat. 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 Okay. So we're going to work on that. I have fertilizer coming in and I'll, I may do another video on me fertilizing myself. All right, but I just wanted to show you guys the sacred it cuts really good. It cuts clean, it's fast. And I, I've trimmed this one as much as I'm going to probably, well look, maybe we'll do this one. This little piece right here that's hanging off. There we go, I cleaned that up. You have that little piece there. So I'm hoping this will help promote some actual fruit this year. Um, I'm going to just use this on the limbs that I need to cut. If I want to trim the leaves or trim some of the other foliage, I'm probably going to use scissors or my loppers. But this right here was fast and easy. And I like it. It's a chainsaw, y'all. <laughs> okay, but anyway. <laughs> You know how it make you feel all empowered. You got some, some tools. Got some tools. Okay. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. We're going to trim some more trees out here. And I will check y'all get another video. Again, thank you to Saker Products for my mini chainsaw. Um, for just letting me try it out. And I appreciate that. I will be putting a link in the description of this video. Thank you, Saker. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.